In this short course, I'm gonna get you set up with the Laravel WebSockets package, which is a Laravel specific package for real-time functionality. And essentially what this does is allows you to run a server locally, which mimics a service like Pusher. So you may not want to initially reach for a third-party service that you eventually have to end up paying for. But what Laravel WebSockets does is it creates a Pusher replacement. So it has exactly the same API to it. So you can just go ahead and switch this out for Pusher whenever you want to. But the important thing here with Laravel WebSockets is this is a local web server that clients can connect to and Laravel can broadcast to. So we're gonna be setting this up together just here. I'm gonna give you a quick demo of exactly what we're gonna be setting up. And from there, you can just go ahead and build any real-time application that you need with a local WebSocket server ready to go. So this course focuses on setting up Laravel WebSockets specifically. It assumes you're already familiar with broadcasting in Laravel and the Laravel docs provide all the information on setting up private channels, how to broadcast via events, setting payloads and all that kind of stuff, authentication, presence channels. So you can go and once you're comfortable and once you've got this set up, you can just start playing around with it. This is just a basic, basic up and running guide. So let's get started. Now, we have the WebSockets server running, the Laravel WebSockets server running. This package provides us a dashboard which we can see uh, any events that are rolling in. So at the moment, I'm just connecting to the default app here on port 6001, and we get a couple of events roll in because this particular client here has connected to the WebSockets server. So the next thing that we have is a client which is currently listening for events. If we head over to the network tab, you can see that we are connected to that WebSocket server. I'm just filtering this by WebSockets here. And we've got a 101 status. So that's successfully connected to our server and is listening for any events that roll in. Now, third, we have a really simple route which doesn't return anything. All this does is it broadcasts an example event. So when I go ahead and refresh this page, which I've just done now, and we head over here, Obviously, without refreshing this page, we have a broadcasted message from our WebSocket server. And you can see here, we get a connection from this particular client here. That could be multiple people all connecting to that particular uh, channel. We have a API message here, which is that test event that we're gonna be creating. So this is a great starting point. It's pretty much all you need to get set up so you can then start tinkering around with real-time stuff within Laravel. So let's get started in the next part just by setting up a really simple, fresh Laravel application so we can get on with getting WebSockets set up.